And hello everyone, in this tutorial we are adding authentication to our app and for this matter we're gonna be using Clerk. Why Clerk? Because it's so easy to use and in just a matter of minutes we're gonna add the entire authentication for our app. It's super super easy, so let's do it. Go with Sloba. Obviously the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to their platform and you need to create a new account. It doesn't require any credit cards or anything like that. They are obviously a pricing plan, but you can create a free account and still work on this tutorial, work on this project. Pause the video and once you sign up, then you can go back and resume this video and start following with the tutorial. So click here on the dashboard on the top and now you can access your dashboard. So obviously here I don't have any applications created yet. So what I want to do is I want to create new new application. So I'll just click on new application in here on my applications. Uh, let's just type in what is the name of our application. So in this case it's going to be job tracker. And here as you can see uh, that our sign in pop up box gets updated. So we get this job tracker name. Obviously let's make this as uppercase so it's a little bit better. And on the left side here, you can see what are the options that you can choose. By default, we have email and Google, but obviously you can add all these different things. So as you can see, they're all get added to this list. So, but for simplicity, I will just add email and Google, and this is enough for our application. Then on the bottom, click on the create application, and let's wait for a couple of seconds to create our application. As you can see, uh, now we get all the steps that we need uh, to perform in order to implement this. Uh, for starters, first you need to install the clerk and we already actually have done this in the previous uh, steps in the previous tutorials. The next step is to go and create this .enme.local file and just copy this environment variables. So let's copy this environment variable and let's head over to VS Code to actually add this to our environment file. And before we create this file, just make sure that you're running exactly the same version as I am and make sure that clerk version is 5.0.3 because there have been some recent updates and some breaking changes. So just make sure that you have that installed. Now in the root folder, let's create a new file and let's name it as .env.local like this. And inside of this file, we want to paste in the variables. So there are two variables that we have here, environment variables. First one is public. So the first one, has this preceding next underscore public underscore, which essentially means that this one is available inside of our client code, inside of the Next.js. And the second one is a secret one, which is actually just being available on the server. So now let's get back to our uh, documents and to see what else we need to do. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create this middleware file. So let me copy this boilerplate code and let's go to VS Code. And now in VS Code, in the root folder, let's create another file and let's call it as middleware.ts. Here, I'm gonna paste the code that we just copied and let's just take a minute to understand what this code does. So here we have this Clerk middleware function that we are importing from Clerk Next.js server and we're just exporting this default function and here we have this configuration file and here on the bottom we have this export const config which is a matcher for all the routes that we have inside of our application. So now what we wanna do is we wanna provide what are the protected routes in our application that we want to provide authentication for. So what we need to do is we need to import another function and this function is called create router matcher. So essentially we need to match protected routes. So let's create a new variable where we are gonna store our protected routes and let's name it as is protected route. And here we're gonna call our function that we have just imported. And for this function, we need to provide an array. And this is gonna be array of the routes. So inside of the array, the first one is gonna be add-job. So we have created three pages and we're gonna add all of them. The next one is four slash jobs. And we actually wanna match all the routes after jobs. So here essentially we are covering all the routes that have jobs as a prefix. So in case we wanna open individual jobs page, it's gonna be protected as well. And the last one is four slash stats, like this. And now we have this is protected route matcher. And now we need to check if the route that we are navigating to is protected or not. If it is, we wanna protect it. So inside of our clerk middleware function, we wanna provide a callback function. So this function has two arguments. The first one is auth and the second one is the request. 
and we want to execute this function so here we want to check if the requested route is protected or not and we can use the function that we have created here or actually the matcher so just call is protected route and pass in the request argument and we want to check if this route is protected then we want to call this authentication function and we want to protect this route and so call this protect function like this and this is all we need to do in order to authenticate our routes and now in order to connect the clerk with our application we need to wrap the entire app with the clerk provider so we can do that inside of the layout file so let's head over to our explorer and let's open the app folder and inside of the app folder we want a root layout file so now inside of the root layout file we want to import our clerk provider so import clerk provider since we don't have this auto import i need to manually import this so add clerk for slash next.js okay and now we need to wrap our entire application so here above the html let's just call this clerk provider component like this and now i can save this and let me close the explorer and now let me start our dev server so let me just run npm run dev and now let's go and try our authentication now i can close this documentation and let's open localhost 3000 if you try to access this add job page so let's try to do this so as you know we are actually protecting this route and we cannot access it but let's go to localhost 3000 without uh, any specific route you will see that we are able to access that page and we are able to access this page because this page is not a protected page but if you try to go to add a job page so let's click on this get started once again we will get that sign up or sign in uh, pop-up model so here i'm just gonna click continue with the google and here i can choose what google account i want to use for a sign up and i will just use one of my emails and after a couple of seconds we get redirected to our app and as you can see we get this add job page and essentially this is it and that's all you have seen how easy it is to set up authentication for your app using clerk in the next tutorial we're going to start working on the navigation and we're going to continue working on the layout of our application see you in the next one and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that i'm doing feel free to check out patreon.com code with sloba to get full access see you there code with sloba Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.